Welcome back. If you've just joined us, we've been looking at the security situation in the Lagos and Ogo State Police Zonal Command. And our guest on this episode of Question Time is the AIG Zone 2, Abdulmajid Ali. Join us again. Now, um, let's come to the Ikorodu area, which is having a reported rising crime wave in that area right now. Um, what are you doing to check the activities of a serial robber and rapist in Ikorodu, which is called Badu? What are you doing to checkmate these activities? I really am not aware of that, and uh, the CP have not told me that. Well, I know what I know of Ikorodu is uh, most of this. It's an it's a, it's a area of these court members. The courtism is at the highest level there. Just Ikorodu share the same thing with uh, what you call uh, the area called Ogijo, Shagab, and the same thing with Ijebode, as it's in, uh, in Ogo State. So that access is mainly, they are mainly known for these court activities. And uh, within my short period in Ogo State, we're able to, to deal with many of them. I dealt with them squarely, decisively particularly in Ogijo Axis, where we have the headquarters, what we call the headquarters of these, uh, these court members. And we're able to arrest many of them. Shagabu has been calm for some time because of what we did in Shagabu. The same thing in Ijebude, Ijebubo, all those Axis are known for court, courtist activities. And uh, the, the Excellency, the Governor of, uh, of Ogo State, also assisted by ensuring, giving them amnesty that any court member that come out and renounce the uh, you know, membership will be given amnesty. And it's, we, we succeeded that in many, particularly in uh, a Wekoro area. Uh, Jebubo, more than 500 of them came out and, uh, and renounced these uh, courtist activities. And that's what, what we are seeing in the Jebubo today. It has reduced the, the, you know, the, the activities, court activities has reduced to the barest minimum and peace has returned to Ijebubo. Ijebubo did the same thing. How have we gone in getting to the bottom investigation of this crime? Because we understand that they have a link to top and influential members of the society. So far, none. Not quite aware of that. And uh, I've not gotten any uh, uh, incident report from either from the Korodu Axis or from the DP or from the Commission of Police or the Area Commander. But that was, but I, I, I will take it up. I'll take it up and with the Commissioner of Police in ensuring to confirm and also to see to the root cause of what you have just said, about, talk about that. Let's come to the issue of the 12 houses discovered to be harboring illegal bunkers and illegal oil wells. Uh, what do you make of such situation? I remember some times ago, was it two or three years ago, when such uh, incident were reported, uh, was it a, within, uh, within that Okokomaiko, which area where uh, some compounds were found with uh, oil well. You know, uh, it, uh, it's not the duty of the general police to act to confirm whether uh, oil well flows or where it passes. It is duty of the NPC to know where their pipes passes through and how the, 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 the level of the movement of the, of the oil they are pumping. You see, it was the Nigerian police that actually got in the information through our intelligence uh, network that size of houses, more than 10 buildings within the uh, uh, Lhasa Baja area where this oil were being discovered, diesel particularly. So if they fetch water instead of bringing out the water, it's, uh, it's, it's diesel. In fact, the Commissioner of Police called me and told me he went there personally to see uh, the, 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 the area and reported the same to the executive governor of the state. Uh, we also sent some of, the, some of his commissioners to see, to go there and ascertain what was uh, discovered. Uh, well, the government so far have decided to you know, take over uh, the area. We have put in police and the fire service to be on standby to avoid any collateral damage, particularly the lives of property, in ensuring that uh, the operations and the safeguard the life of those people have been carried out effectively. What's the possibility that such illegal oil wells doesn't exist in other areas of Lagos or states, considering the stake involved in this uh, business? 
That depends on the NPCs. They, they know how where the pipeline, the pipelines passes through. They should be able to tell us where they have places. And uh, I wonder why people should be allowed to build on the pipeline. You know, we would never took all these things very seriously. Bunkering, of my own understanding by then, when I, with my coming to Southwest, I discovered that bunkering was a knowledge of both NMPC officials and security agencies. Bunkering can never be successful without having the backing of the security agents, as well as the NMPC staff knowing when. Because what the bunkers, they know when the flows, they know when diesel flows, they know when uh, petrol passes, they know when kerosene passes. How did they get to know? How did they get to know that yes, today we are pumping, and the, uh, the, the, the fuel, what we are pumping is diesel. How did they get to know that what we pump tomorrow will be, will be, will be petrol? And again, the community, the way this bunker do take place, they are quite aware of the, is, the, the, the incident. They are quite aware of the, the activities going on there. And so what the general police have tried to do and other security agencies was to make sure that the big guys, because those, those who were being arrested were just the boys, but we are now, we go after the big guys, the, big, the, 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 the cartel that specialize in this, not only in Ogo State, even in River State, and all where pipeline passes through, as far as uh, Abuja, where Gualada exists, where bomb proofing or so take place. Uh, tankers were being set ablaze by security agents, yet it never deterred them from keeping off from it. So it had been a lucrative business that had been on for a very long time, and which must, have, must be stopped. What's your response to the reported threat of the Boko Haram group to invade Lagos to free their members? Well, we have been receiving such a, such a threat for a very long time, and uh, we are never lower our guard. We have been ready, fully at alert. Not, 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 we're not until the threat we've been, uh, we've been made announced by then. We have made sure that we've made necessary arrangement to counter any insurgents, necessary arrangement to protect lives and property within, the, within my area, necessary arrangement to protect all the key points and vulnerable points we have, you know, which they may be an easy target. We have provided security. We have ensured effective patrol within the town, and we will continue to put in a lot of surveillance, particularly intelligence network. We have had town hall meetings, meetings with the community. We have held meetings with the, with the people from the, from the, the other side, the, the northern side of the, of the country, particularly the northeast. This, their, their Sariki has been called up many times. We, have, uh, we are in touch. Our numbers have been given out. So for easy and quicker response, particularly when anything has been, uh, been, been, been discovered. And we shall be on guard in ensuring that all this threat did not and will not happen in Southwest, particularly my area here, Ogun State and Lagos State. Talking of the decision of the Lagos State government to confiscate houses and hotels used in harboring criminal activities, do you have enabling laws to support such policies? We are to enforce. It is the state that, that passes the law. And they call the police to, to assist. So we don't, it's not we, it's not the original police. It is when this government says, well, this is what we want. They, they pass it to the, 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 the State House of Assembly and been approved and passes it to law. We have no option. I think uh, the same thing happened to these land grabbers. The state too, so have passed, I think they are working on uh, the law on uh, how to deal with these land grabbers. And I learned that the we'll state are for following suit. And to, it will reduce this hooliganism, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the various activities of some of these uh, miscreants perpetrating in the name of going under the cover of the law itself. But when the law is being passed, that look, if you do this, this is what will happen to you, definitely you will see people stay off. See, Nigerians, we, we obey law. You know, we, we respect law, but we don't obey it. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comment on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Coming up on Question Time. How does the Nigerian police plan to curb electoral violence? 
Find out from the Assistant Inspector General of Police Zone 2, Abdul Majid Ali, when we return. <laughs>